Isaiah, what do you think about your spring so far? And also, looks like you put on some weight, did some good work in the offseason. You know, I've been not really trying to put on weight, but, you know, just get stronger. I mean, I like the weight that I'm at right now, but, you know, just getting stronger while getting faster also. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy with what I'm doing so far, but, you know, I still want to do better. To, to do with, um, um, I guess, getting a little more action this spring, working some at um, outside, working inside, just kind of moving you around a lot? I've been uh, happy uh, with this spring overall. I feel like I've grown a lot from uh, last year up to now. And just our coaches, since we have a young room, they're going and putting us in harder roles that we need to go and be in, which is good for us because it tests us and makes us have to grow up faster. And they just go and uh, trust us because we're always in there every day, learning the playbook, doing as many things as we can do. So it just shows that they have trust in us and that we're pushing like ourselves to be the best. Yeah, Carson, can you speak to maybe the maybe the youth in the linebacking core and maybe what your ex expectations are for this year? You know, really in the linebacker room, we don't really – none of us really look at our age. You know, we all are young, but really Sawyer is our old guy in the room. But I think we – um you know, we see the opportunity that we have in front of us, and we're just trying to get better each and every day, take as many reps, as good reps as we can in practice, making every rep like a game rep. And then again, like I was saying, just coming up here on our off days, getting in the playbook, watching extra film, doing little things like that so that we don't look like young guys in the field because we don't feel like we're young guys and we're going to be put on the rolls for our team to where they, our age doesn't really matter. Isaiah, what is it about a Bobby Petrino offense that appeals to you and how they want to use you and the rest of the guys? You know, I feel like speed is a big thing in his offense, and, you know, that's one of my strong suits. And I've just – this is my fourth OC since I've been to Arkansas, so I'm, I'm really liking what Bobby has, and I feel like, man, he's living up to the hype. last spring and then it maybe didn't come to fruition during the season just what areas of your game have you focused on to make sure that doesn't happen again this year you know a big thing for me was obviously I had a good spring ball last year and then uh fall camp things didn't go how I wanted it to and so then I got put on the scout team in the uh, offseason or during fall and I feel like over that time at first I was kind of mad about it but then I use it as a growth opportunity to work on the uh, techniques with my hands or certain things with my tackling form that I need to uh, work on. And it helped me just focus on those sorts of things. I just feel like from then to now, you know, I feel like with the playbook, I've really been learning that playbook a lot better and just working on those things that I had the opportunity to work on last season and in the off season up to uh, this year, just working on being more uh, physical and better with my hands. Isaiah, how do you feel like your connection is with Taylor? It's like been, you know, getting to work with him. You know, I really like him. I, I like what he has to bring to the table. He he has a strong arm, you know, and he likes to go deep. So I can't complain about that. You know, Ronnie Fouch as well. What's it been like working with him, another wide receiver coach that you're working with? You know, I haven't known him for long, but, you know, that's my guy. I really like him. And, you know, I'm always socializing with him. And we're talking ball, but, you know, we, we're talking just personal lives too. So. You don't always get that with the coach, but, I mean, I really like him and I like what he has to bring. I'll ask you, Isaiah, as well, what is it about Jalen Braxton that just, like, seems like he's always in the right place at the right time to make a good play? You know, he's he's a very good player. I, I really like Braxton. I like his game. You know, he's the speed guy. He's one of the fastest on the team, but he's a patient DB. You know, he'll strike you, but, I don't know, He he he's just patient. You know, he's waiting to – see what route you're running and he anticipates very well. So I really like, I love his game. As a, you are, you're taking more rep, reps at a punt return and kickoff return. What are some things you're improving on since uh, last year, since you were taking over that role? You know, that was my first time really going a whole year being the punt and kick returner, you know, in high school, they didn't really kick me the ball. And, you know, I'm just very f fortunate for coach fountain. You know, he gave me an opportunity last year and I mean, I got to just show a little bit of what I can do. And, you know, I'm feeling more comfortable every day, you know, catching the ball, catching the punts and the wind and stuff. And, you know, I feel like this is going to be a great year in the return game. Yeah, Isaiah, uh, when did you move to Arkansas? How old were you? Uh, I was 15 or 16. 15, 16. So you probably didn't watch a lot of Bobby Petrino back when you were like 10 years old and stuff. <laughs> Have, has he showed you any of like Jarius Wright and Joe Adams? I know he shows the quarterbacks, like some Ryan Mallett stuff from when he was back here. Has he showed you any of that and talked to you about, you know, the success those guys had in the offense? Yeah, we, we watch them about every day. Has he talked to you about 
you know, any of the things that you can do that maybe some of those guys did. Similar type build and, and speed and all that kind of stuff. I mean, a little bit, but he really just lets me, you know, kind of do me, kind of play my game. I don't, I don't really like to compare myself to other people. Like, I like to watch other people, but I don't, I don't really like to compare, you know, because I feel like nobody really plays like me. Hey, Carson, what do you think about the defense? I mean, the defense – Last year took a big step forward before you were here from the year before. What do you guys think about the progress that you made right now overall as a unit? You know, I feel like a lot of it is I feel like over since last year, we've improved all already from last fall. And I feel like a lot of it, too, is our coaches are helping us go and slow it, uh, s slow it down in the in the film room. And then on top of it, I mean, every day there's guys going and uh, coming up here to watch film, whether it's with their coach, it's with their group. I feel like everybody's really buying in because no one wants to wants to go out the way that we did last season. So everyone, I feel like, has a sense of urgency and pride to be able to be our best as a group because, we, we, I mean, we really needed everybody and we just don't want to be in the same spot we were in last year. Isaiah, I don't know where you were, but Augusta had a good day, a couple of really long runs. What would you make of his day today? You know, people like to talk a lot about age and stuff, but I don't really think any of that matters. I mean, we've all grown up playing football our whole lives, and you can just see he's a younger guy, but, you know, he – I mean, last year you got to see what he can do at the end of the year, and, I mean, this year he, he's going to have a great year. He's one of our best backs, and, you know, I, I love his game. I, I love what he has to bring to the table, and he just sheds tackles. You know, he's not the fastest guy, but he just always seems to, you know, break big runs. Uh, on today, I think the defense probably held on the move the ball part and maybe won the day, so to speak. What'd you what you just think about today's performance? I figured the defense today got a good job of of getting the ball out. You know, we had a few fumbles that we picked up and then we had a good amount of uh PBUs and picks too. I just feel like we were we've been really urgent on tackling and getting the ball out as many times as we can. And I feel like as a group we did better at uh tackling today and then we did a great job at getting the the ball out to give our offense a chance of getting the ball back in the game. Isaiah, are you still playing on running track at all? Yes, sir. I'm trying to. Spring ball's over. Okay, what's that look like? Yes, sir. I'm I'm trying to as soon as spring ball's over. Gotcha. And Carson, it's not just your second year in the defense, but the the defense as a whole, and you know, coach Coach Williams and everything. Just is there more comfort with the defense, and like, are, are y'all expanding what y'all can do now this year? Um. I feel like our coders are doing a really good job at slowing it down for us. But then on top of that, I feel like we we really have a bunch of the same calls that we had last year. But a lot of us have already been through the system once, which makes it easier for us. But then we're putting things in families and categories, too, so that whenever we know a call, we can think of that certain like uh, uh, category and uh, differentiate all the plays from each other. Isaiah, we saw you. Uh, we saw them run the screen a couple of times for you just this year. How, how do you kind of envision that? I guess, playing into the offense? You know, I was kind of upset with myself. I feel like I could have broke that first one. Cam, Cam Ball had barely got me. You know, I'm going to go back, watch the film, you know, see what about, what I can do better. And, you know, in the future, I got to break those. What are the differences between Travis Williams' defense last year and this year? Uh, it's a lot of the same stuff, you know. It's a lot of one-high stuff and – you know, we don't really worry about what they do as much as what we're trying to do. All right, guys. Appreciate you. Great job. Thank you. Appreciate you.